What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna break down five of my top go-to foods that help me pack on muscle. So make sure you stick around. It is important to know that in order for you to put on some quality muscle in and out of the gym, you need to make sure that you are eating the right muscle building foods. So if you're an OG subscriber, I appreciate you for clicking on this video. If you're not part of the team, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. Join the X Factor Fitness team and make sure you turn notifications on to all to make sure you are notified every time I upload a video. So that's by clicking the bell. And like this video while you're at it. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Look, you can train as hard as you want to in the gym, but if you are not eating the right muscle building foods, you won't make any progress. So I'm gonna break down and explain five of my top go-to muscle building foods. These are not the only muscle building foods. Again, these are mine. And I'm giving them to you so you can consider putting this into your diet so that you are receiving all of your gains in the gym. If you have not heard it before, 70% nutrition, 30% exercise. You need to make sure you are eating quality foods, muscle building foods, in order for you to get swole. Up first, let's talk about oats. Oats is one of my go-tos for breakfast and or even a pre-workout snack or a post-workout snack. Quick Oats is calorie dense and is real low in sugar, which is important when we're trying to build a lean physique. You wanna make sure you minimize the sugar intake. Oats is also loaded with tons of quality fiber, which will help your digestive system work properly. What I like to do for my oats is sometimes add in a scoop of protein just to give it a more protein packed snack or even meal. And I like to add certain things like stevia, maybe some nuts, like some almonds or cashews, maybe even some fruits, like some bananas. But the main takeaway for the quick oats is that high in fiber, good quality carb, low in sugar, which is extremely important when we're talking about minimizing the fat gain. This right here is gonna help you put on some quality muscle. So since we spoke about it earlier, almonds. The almonds I choose to always go with are either whole natural or dry roasted simply because they don't contain a lot of oil, or should I say added oil. A handful of almonds is gonna give you about, let's say 200 calories. Super good when we're talking about our healthy fats. We have to make sure that we are containing a great amount of healthy fats in our diet in order to continue to pack on muscle. This is a real great go-to snack. But also like I spoke with my oats, I can simply put a nice handful of this healthy fat into my oats and make that meal so much more nutritious. They're small, they're good, and we need them for the muscle building. So if you don't wanna put these in your oats, you can also put them over your salads. So I eat at least two to three servings of almonds every single day, and that has helped me to put on muscle. Next up, since we're talking about breakfast, let's go ahead and move to eggs. Whole eggs. Eggs contain a high quality protein, healthy fats, and also other nutrients like B vitamins. Now the reason I'm talking about whole eggs is because I know a lot of you out there who are super strict on your diets love egg whites, which I do too. But I don't want you to throw out the yolk just yet. The yolk is where all of the nutrients lie. I'm talking calcium, iron, zinc, vitamin B, like I spoke about earlier, and tons of other nutrients that we do not want to avoid. Now I know eggs get a bad rep when we're talking about our cholesterol levels, but two or three whole eggs a day will make sure that your cholesterol stays at an even level. I like to eat my whole eggs first thing in the morning with my oats as a breakfast. I usually take in one to two whole eggs and add in at least four to five egg whites. So still getting a lot of protein, but not all from the yolks. But the yolk is what's gonna help you when we're talking about really building some quality muscle. So do not neglect your yolk. All right, moving down the line, let's talk about quinoa. And I have a mixture of quinoa and brown rice. I know a lot of you out there eating tons of brown rice simply because we're told it's healthier. Well, I'm not gonna say it's not, but I'm gonna tell you that quinoa is a complete source of protein. So if we're talking nutrition, this quinoa is rated a little bit above brown rice. When you cook this quinoa, it contains about 40 grams of carbs per cup. So that means you will be provided a lot of energy and a lot of fuel. So what you could do is add this in as a pre-workout or a post-workout meal. What quinoa also contains is a good amount of magnesium. So when we're talking about the functioning of our nerves, of our muscles, magnesium comes into play. So I recommend every now and again, you swap out your brown rice for quinoa. Tastes pretty good. 
I hope you guys are still with me. If you are, again, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the bell. We're up to our last muscle building food. Extra virgin olive oil. I bet you didn't guess this one. This is a go-to. I use this every single day, and most importantly, with all of my meals. The fats in this olive oil stimulate protein production, which is what we need for our muscle growth. And it also helps prevent the tissue breakdown. And if you don't know anything about insulin sensitivity in your muscles, this olive oil increases that, helping your muscles soak up the amino acids, the glucose, the nutrients. If you have not started using virgin olive oil, you need to jump on it. Ditch your vegetable oil, ditch your canola oil, you need to be using olive oil. You can use this on the pan when you're about to cook. You can also drizzle this on your salads for a salad dressing. Again, this is my go-to. And this was a secret for you all, because I'm pretty sure you didn't think this was anything but a bunch of fat. But this actually plays a big role in you building some muscle. So again, without proper nutrition, without the proper muscle building foods, you will be destroying your body in the gym, but you will not be receiving those benefits. Your benefits will stall, your gains will stall. So if you are serious about your gains, I encourage you to implement these five foods into your daily lifestyle. Again, these are not the only muscle building foods, but these are the five that I consume every single day. So I know I flexed a lot in this video. So what I want you to do is comment below and comment how many times I flexed. I know it was over the top, but I'm serious when I tell you we need to start changing up our diets in order to get those benefits. All 2021, I'm gonna be providing you all with some quality knowledge. I need you guys to really tap in and understand that we are not just out here moving around weight, going in the kitchen, cooking up meals. We actually need to get a little bit more strategic with this so we can get all the benefits all 2021. So I appreciate you all for rocking with me. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe if it was, like the video, share the video, because you are not the only one who is looking for this knowledge. And with that being said, I'm gonna catch you all in the next one. Before you go, I want to encourage you to do a few things. Download the free X Factor Fitness app where you will have access to tons of workouts, exercises, and more. Follow me on Instagram where you will have access to workouts and motivation daily. Also, check out some of my old videos. Lots of playlists just for you. And never forget, subscribe for more.